Where are we? San Alejo Campground. You see that right there? It looks like there's some active erosion down there. Active erosion? Active erosion. <laughs> are you a geologist or something? Uh, so I don't think that they will even let you walk down this uh -huh. little walkway. So we just got in, got a set up camp. And this is like, what's the biggest city this is close to? It's Carlsbad. Carlsbad? Yeah. What are we doing? We're opening one of my beers. All right. Before we start cooking. Coleman oven. We've never used it before. So we'll see how it goes. Pressing it down so we could. I cut these little tabs that's supposed to go in. I'm trying to make it through everything. And then I got this pizza stone. That's yeah. separate, right? Yeah. Just so it'll cook more evenly. We are totally not on level ground here, huh? What's in the bag? Oh, orzo. Orzo. What the heck? What's orzo? Pasta. Basically. Gluten free. Are you a gluten free lady this. or something? No. I don't feel like half. Well, it's kind of like pasta, huh? It's like pasta. It is pasta. It is pasta? It is pasta. Oh, is it too much? I'm going to have to share it with the neighbors. So the Jeep is not level. So our table's not level, and our stove and oven are level. So you can see this gap up here at the top. That's because it's not sitting level. But it's heating up. So we're at like 375 right now, and we've got a, some vegetables in there, a couple of vegetable kebabs. And then when they're done, and the orzo's done, we're gonna cook some fillets by grilling the fillets in a 
cast iron skillet first, about two or three minutes on each side, and then we're gonna put it in the oven for seven minutes. So it should be really good. What do you think? It's gonna be really good. <laughs> All right, it's just about ready. I'm gonna drain it. These flies are huge. They are very big. Probably could have done with one. Okay, this is a black salt. That looks good. I'm gonna put some pepper on there too. liberal with the pepper. Unfortunately, this is not even close to level. I put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. The cast iron steel should be so hot that it should still cook up fine. We're going to cook it about two to three minutes on each side. Ooh, some of it leaked on the stone. Some green vegetables. Mm -hmm. Zucchini, potatoes. Now we're gonna put it in the oven. We cooked it on both sides for about three minutes, and we're gonna put it in the oven for about six, seven minutes. You want the oven at like at least 400 to uh, 450 degrees. let it rest for about five minutes. Take it off the heat. <laughs> you ready to eat? Uh, let's I'm see. Hungry. Hungry. So we got... The fire, huh? Yeah, after... So we've got orzo, we've got vegetable kebabs with potatoes and filet mignon, and a couple of Sierra Nevadas. Cheers.
beautiful sunset. Go for the surf. Are you mesmerized? Yeah. <laughs> we were just lamenting that we wish we brought uh, marshmallows. When the campground got quiet last night, all you could hear was the ocean. And it was roaring. The only thing that you could hear, and it was so loud. And now it doesn't sound that loud, but when we were in the tent last night with no other sounds, we felt like we were on the beach. We're going to make breakfast this morning. Some homemade biscuits, bacon, scrambled eggs, coffee. And then we're going to head out. It's beautiful. So when did you make these biscuits? Yesterday. So homemade from scratch. And then I froze them. And you froze them. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know how to make these biscuits, look at our second episode. How long do they cook in here? Uh, normally when I make them fresh, it's like 12 minutes. Oh yeah, but they're frozen, so it can take a little they're longer. They're not super frozen because they were in the cooler. Uh huh. So they're like semi-thawed. We've never used this uh, Coleman oven before for biscuits, so we'll see how it goes. Probably should have let them thaw. I wonder if I should have let them no, thaw all the way. I don't think so. Okay. I look at it, I think, I oh, think yeah, you're done. Ready. Came out a little too toasty on the bottom, but it's fine. Yeah. So maybe could have gone a little less time? Yeah, a little less. Yeah, I was thinking more, but yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. I think they're all right, though. Huh? I think they're good. No, I think they're going to be fine. What's going on there? All right. Scramble eggs are going to be ready to eat. Cool. You hungry? Okay, camp food, that's pretty dang good, huh? Bon appetit. Let's eat. Good too. Yeah, it is. It's got nice kick. Very good. Day. 
get out of the house. And uh, the location next to the ocean is awesome. The campgrounds themselves are pretty close together, and there's not a lot of privacy. There's not really bushes or trees between you and the other people. We were lucky we didn't have anybody on the left or right of us, just behind us. But uh, I think we enjoyed it. I mean, it's a nice location. We could hear the ocean raging at night because everything else was silent. So all you could hear was the ocean. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're going to hear you. What? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Anyway, it was a nice getaway for one day. Thank you for watching, and please like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.